Now, if you were a very talented huntress and you were raised in the wilderness by bears, do you think that you'd be like really distracted by a pair of golden apples? This is Atalanta, our female hero who helped catch the Caledonian boar. Before she went on that expedition, however, in fact, when she was born, she suffered a pretty terrible setback. Her father, he didn't want a daughter, he wanted a son. So he exposed baby Atalanta in the wilderness and a family of bears came upon her and nursed her. In some accounts, one of these bears is actually the goddess Artemis. Later, she was raised by some hunters in the wilderness. She became a very talented huntress and she devoted her life to the goddess Artemis. She took part in the Caledonian boar hunt and absolutely schooled all of the other men because she was a far superior hunter to them. But even after Prince Maliga said how much he loved her, she still just never wanted to be married. She was a follower of Artemis. Artemis is a canonically chaste goddess. She's the goddess of the hunt and also the goddess of never having a husband. In the Caledonian boar hunt, however, her father finally recognized her and he took her back into his house after he abandoned her like decades earlier. She was of marrying age now, so she needed a husband, according to her father, but she did not want a husband because she was devoted to Artemis. Anyway, in order to get out of marrying whoever her father wanted her to marry, she said that she would marry only if her suitor could beat her in a foot race. Now, Atlanta is a very fast runner, so nobody would beat her. One day, this guy called Hippomenes, who was a bit of a meanie, he fell in love with Atalanta at first sight, and he was like, I've got to beat her in this foot race. Now, the goddess Aphrodite, who was a bit salty that Atalanta was kind of rejecting love, and she's the goddess of love, she gave Hippomedes some really pretty golden apples. Do you remember those? Anyway, they do the foot race, and as they're running, Hippomenes drops a golden apple. He dropped a couple of them, and every time he dropped them, Atalanta would stop to pick them up. Girl, why? She's all like, ooh, shiny gold apple, I want. So she stopped to pick up these golden apples every time Hippomenes, like, released one, and he obviously beat her in the race. Look at this clown! He won the race, and Atalanta had no choice but to marry him. I gotta say, Atalanta, I did not expect this from you. After they were married, Aphrodite afflicted them both with a huge sexual passion, which is really out of character for a follower of Artemis. So Artemis was angry that she was, you know, sleeping with her own husband. So Artemis turned them both into lions because allegedly the ancient Greeks thought that lions couldn't procreate with each other. They could only procreate with leopards. Unfounded. Debunkable. Lots of scholars can't understand how this made it into the myth. Of course lions can procreate with each other. What the heck?